Hello everyone, Legend of Zubin here, solo once again. Now today I'm going to be playing a game that I have a lot of personal memories with. You need a cloud controller? Nah fam, I got a GameCube controller. Uh, now originally I was going to do uh, Snowdrop Scrimmage the movie for my comeback game, but that kind of fell through because my version of the game didn't work. Instead, we're gonna play another game I enjoy nostalgically right now. It's been said that there's a haven where the stars lived in the sanctuary of Star Haven. There rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes Using these wondrous star rod, the seven revered stars. Oh my God! Watch over our peaceful world. Carefully, very carefully. And then. Oh 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 dear! What the? Who snuck that weird thing into the story? Uh, uh, yeah, I did. Uh, 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 uh. So I give. <coughs> yeah. I'll take the star rod. This is mine now, fuck you. <laughs> oh no, Bowser is starting off the plot of the game. <laughs> no, it's not that, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, no, you try using it. Oh yeah, uh, sorry if you hear my roommate in the background. He's a streamer. You're changing the story. We did it. Oh no, the snow sphere has been captured. Now star kids may rise to the haven. Uh, oh my god, these things go so fast. Fast I remember. Whatever can they do? I know Thousand Door had that same problem of it's going way too fucking fast. Oh gosh, I'm first I play this. Uh, delete file. Legend. Yep. Who the fuck is Mario? Uh, new file. Let's go with. Um, uh, just what they call me in the. I should call you Mario in the game still. So let's just do. Cause it's just me. There's no one to do a funny name with. It's just like a really sad like story. It's like oh, I'm all alone now because I've moved to Florida for college, which Jesus Christ. Yep. Yeah, so sorry for my roommate, but let's just enjoy this. I'll try to like uh, turn on the audio when he if, if I feel he screams and he catches it on the uh, microphone. Mail call. Mario, Luigi, Mario, Mario. Hey Mario, we got a letter from Mrs. Peach. Fucking can you read it? I'll read it you, okay? I lied, that's a see. <clears throat> I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I'd be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you soon. Sincerely, Peach. Hey, hey, hey. I'm totally not going to be kidnapped again for like the bajillionth fucking time. But it's just per Mario standards. Okay, for a split second I thought the audio wasn't recording, I'm about to be pissed. But me with George's mask all over again. I... We were walking to Peach's castle. I want to mention one thing. I love this game. I'm very happy to be LPing it. I do wish I was doing SpongeBob, but hopefully down the line I'll rebuy the game because I, I had the game. But I tried doing emulator. It was too slow and it was weird. And like how this was overall, so you're gonna do the real full game. Okay. I'm just scared that like uh, my room is gonna be picked up on the microphone. But here we are, finally in the uh, control. 
So we're just gonna run around here. Um, my memory of this game is not as good as the sequel, but I'd be a little pissed if I did the games out of order. So we're gonna start with this one. However, don't worry, this one game is still very good. Like, it's probably second best in the Paper Mario series, honestly. Like, first is Thousand Year Door, then this one, then Super Mario, and then Color Splash, and then that atrocity Sticker Star in dead last place, where it deserves to be. Because Sticker Star is fucking atrocious. Like, I don't know why they even changed the combat from this glorious, like, turn-based, which, I mean, Super Mario, it kind of has a good story to keep it going along, but the combat of that game was alright, but, anyway, this game, uh, Nice startup. Uh, sadly, I love the music, but sadly I can't hear it because I have my microphone set up. But my mic is even closer to the screen that plays sound. It's truly a monumental moment. Hey, girl, what up? Hi, <laughs> Mario. You gave this party a scene. You're so sweet. Thank you. I was just resting a bit. I think it gets tiring getting all those guests out there. I was a turn get you tripping from world to world to save my ass. <laughs> Greeting guests is way harder. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? Oh yeah, let's get on. I'm trying to switch the voices so fast it's hard to do. It was a lovely day today. I am so I am sh sh fuck. So I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? I'm trying to I'm trying to help. Oh oh mm -hmm. oof. Earthquakes, these are not common in the Mushroom Kingdom. Hmm. You know, Rising Castles has been a real epidemic recently that I've checked. Really, uh, really get some scientists on that to figure out why it's happening. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mario running around throwing his hands in the air like he just don't care. He makes me laugh every time. <laughs> He's a, we're running around in panic. I don't know why they chose to use Mario's like uh, throwing sprite. Throwing sprite. He's about to throw some. Well, I mean, he's about to throw hands. But I mean. Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my! Look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? But, 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 but I can see stars outside. I mean, a little bit of knock. Oh shoot! That actually looks very pretty. Like, actually, for an S64 game, this game looks could honestly be a, for like a GameCube title and still pass off very well. The whole paper stack lets basically anything work. Bowser! Who put this game be? Bitch, shut up. You know for fucking well like, it's only going to be hit. I actually. I mean, uh, it's mostly Bowser. There are other villains, but it's mostly Bowser. So it was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? Bruh. Yes, it was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. Weren't expecting that, huh? Okay, after we get past the prologue here, I have a few things to talk about here. Oh, uh, what? It's Mario. What a shock. It's a fucking... Okay, I was just say. Huh, not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Yeah, <coughs> <coughs> oh, fuck. Sorry to do Bowser. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Now. How would you learn your lesson by that Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why did you just give up already? I like how this game tries to go for like a, yeah, you never really won Bowser. And then, he's like, hold up here. Want something neat? This time I'm going to win. Okay, tough guy, let's go. Hooray. The combat. My favorite part of this game. Mario, you can do it. Of course I fucking can. Goddamn Mario. Jumping. Mario's basic mechanic. And it's weird. Mario blends himself to, like, the, um, uh, RPG, like, so well. Like, it's very surprising. Like, and I'm actually really glad that the fact that this game gives you the ability... Actually, I'll talk about more later. But, the combat. I love the turn-based combat this game. Right now, it's, right now I'm really, you know, like, basic mechanic, but... Throughout the game, it's gonna get more and more impressive. Good old Mario, always fighting your thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Star Haven. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. 
And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. Okay, while you're charging up, let me take a sip of my liquid. Ah, tasty liquid. How do you like that, Mario? Try me, bitch. Ah, you bitch. Fuck, you got me good. Bing, ah, oh. Is that all you've got? How sad. You best take some vitamins, cause you did, cause that didn't it at all. Okay, well to be fair, Mario's vitamins is like mushrooms, and he's been taking those since day one. I mean, actually, no, not day one, more like, no, like day mm, 365, or however long fucking Mario, uh, Donkey Kong was to like, uh, suit Mario Bros. Cause he didn't eat mushrooms in Mario Bros. So now this, now this game's got me thinking about Mario's, uh, Nutrition habits of uh, oh, he's burnt peach too. <laughs> Not peach. Hey, whoa, whoa, how come, how come I'm the only one dying here? Peach, you should be dead too, bitch. I don't think you have 10 HP. You got like five, bitch. <sighs> oh no, Mario, get up! Yes. Oh yeah, I did it. Ugh. I finally did it. I beat my old rival, Mario. Yes. Congrats. Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. <coughs> Fuck. With the star, <clears throat> with the star rod. Nah, she doesn't like Bowser. If I get everything I wish, it would come true. No one can beat me now. I thought the voice was Bowser more. Well, well, well. I guess I might have to get rid of Mario. He's no, he's no good to win now. That's for sure. Starfish slap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Mario! Hey Nintendo, listen. If you need someone to voice Peach, I got you. I would give Peach the voice of a generation. But somber scene first. Paper Mario. I am so happy to bring this to you. Prologue. A plea from the stars. Oh, thank heavens. He's been gravely injured. But I think he'll recover. But Bowser is a star rod. He's only much mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. <clears throat> oh, hush. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now. Our fate are in Mario's hands. We must revive him. To gather around, everyone. Send Mario your power. Ding, ding, ding. Just you know, the stars just, the stars just shit on Mario. Well, that's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, you must get up, please. Ding, 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 ding. Now it's gonna, oh, pfft, never mind. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do voice for every character, because that would be hard as hell. <laughs> and, honestly, Gumbella isn't, uh, she says Gumbella, uh, she says Gumbella in this game. Gumbella here is just, mm, She's not around much. Oh, who could that be? The red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like that one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? Real Mario? Hey, 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 wake up! Come on, up and up! Oh no, he won't wake up! Uh oh, uh, what am I gonna do? Dad! Goomba! Goombario! Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm an old star, a star spirit. 
astonishingly very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need you to summon the Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, we Star Spirits are waiting for you at the summit. You know, I need a lot of practice as a voice actor, so sorry for everyone who's like, oh my god, voice actor is fucking terrible. Uh, this LP and all my other LPs, and hey, Toad, what's up? Uh, it's gonna be, oh, Mario! I'm so happy to see you awake! I can't do a Toad voice, I'm sorry. I just wanted to try once. You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. I must have been worried sick. I'm in a coma! <laughs> this place? This is Goomba Village. It's a Thai village that's just a west of Toad Town. And the only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. That's not really a village, it's more of like a, I don't know, like, home? Home? Village is like multiple people. I, mean, I guess it's you being connected to the village, but I don't know. The Goombas in the family are just nice and special for meat. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Hmm. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to a shooting star summit? Mm-hmm. No, I saw nothing like that. I'm sure I didn't see anyone come in or out of the house. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream. It was only just a dream. Although, maybe not. It could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. I live in Star Haven. S star sh shooting star summit is the nearest, nearest place to Star Haven, so that makes sense. Hmm. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you recovered. Now, I know the Goombas would be happy to, if you paid them a visit. So, anyway, we can move around now. And next time on Mario, Pip Mario, we're going to be uh, visiting the Goombas. See you guys then.